Hi, Dr. Charles Fay. Well, these days are like no days that, that I ever remember. Unparalleled anxiety about illness and, and financial stress for so many families, the loss of jobs, being laid off, schools closed down, kids at home, parents at home, uh, lots of anxiety unbelievable stress for so many people and people ask how can we help our kids cope through this incredibly difficult time and there's one truth that I'll share with you about that and that is that uh, there's no doubt that kids take their emotional cues from the adults around them so in other words they look to us for how to cope all well, this is a rather sobering thought because if you're like me you're finding it pretty hard see a lot of a lot of really strong adults are saying i'm i'm really pushed to my limit in terms of my own coping skills and and now the thought of being a leader for my kids while i know it's so important it, it just feels overwhelming well, there, there is some good news about this, and, and that is, is that it's okay to grieve. It, we're all grieving. There, there are great losses uh, associated with all of this, great pain that is real pain that is not going to go away quickly. And uh, it is an opportunity for us to be real in front of our kids. And I'm going to suggest that it, it's really okay to be real. It's okay to perhaps cry a bit. It's okay to uh, uh, feel worried. It, it's okay to, to be angry. That's a normal emotion. All these emotions are, are normal emotions. And one of the most important things that we can do is give ourselves permission to be real. See, when we try to bottle all that up, when we try to be the, the super parent, the super dad, the super mom that, that is just everything's fine, we're okay. Well, what happens is we become a lot like teapots and trying to hold in all that steam. And, and ironically, it, it, it really does make it worse. And so giving yourself permission to grieve, giving your kids permission to grieve. And um, I'm not saying that there shouldn't be limits. Of course, we need to put some limits on ourselves in terms of uh, whether we, we lash out towards people. Well, those are healthy limits. Of course, we need to have limits for our kids, the same limits we, we would have normally, because that gives them that, that sense of safety. But getting back to our own emotions and how we cope, it's, again, important to allow ourselves to be real. <sighs> I know I'm, I'm having to be real. And, uh, and it's important, very, very important that we let our kids know that this is not their fault. The kids tend to internalize uh, things like this, their parents' emotions. So they see their, their parents being worried or concerned or, or crying or sad. They, they, they tend to jump to the conclusion that it's something that they did. And we just need to be really reassuring that that's not the case. Uh, to say, hey, this is, this is not about you. You didn't do anything wrong. There's another piece that needs to come in, and that is that we need to be able to give them hope. We need to be able to say things like, this is really hard right now. And you know what? There are, there are thousands and thousands of, of amazing scientists and medical professionals all around the world working tirelessly to find treatments and, and cures for this virus. And uh, uh, we are going to get through this together. Now, this is it's going to be hard, but we are really going to get through this together. And uh, probably wise for us to limit the amount of uh, media exposure that, that we're putting into our own brains and allowing our kids to soak in. But uh, let's come together and remember that, that we are going to get through this. This is very serious. I don't mean to minimize it in any way. But we're going to get through this as long as we choose and, and continually on a second-by-second -second basis choose to love each other and choose patience. 
Well, I wish that I could take away all the stress for you. Uh, no, I can't. But I hope that this is encouraging and, and gives you some, some help. See you soon.